Hello class. Today we're going to be talking about a compound microscope. We're going to look at the different parts that make up the microscope as well as what their functions are. Okay, so this one right here is a pretty basic model. Um, it is electrical. There's some microscopes that have um, a mirror for as their light source. This one actually has a lamp. Okay. So we're going to go from top to bottom and work our way down to the uh, to the setting up of a slide for viewing. All right, so this compound microscope gets its name because it has multiple lenses in order to see things that are difficult to see with the naked eye. Okay, so it has a scanning lens, then it has a um, low objective and then a high objective lens. So low objective lens increases the magnification and the high objective increases it to where you can see even the smallest structures or see the the uh, basic structures of a cell okay so we're looking at here um i'm gonna point to the different parts this right here is the eyepiece you would place your eye right up to this lens in order to view the slide okay this long black tube is called the body tube okay then it leads down to this section, which is the rotating nose piece. Okay, we call it that because it sticks out like a nose and it rotates the lenses. Okay, this curve right here is called the arm. And this is basically the uh, one location that's the proper handle for uh, lifting or moving a microscope. So you have to lift it up by the arm and then move it. Okay, so I've got my microscope laying on its side just because um, it's just a little easier to see this way. All right, from the arm, it goes to these two knobs. Um, these are combined. It's the coarse adjustment and the fine adjustment. In the microscopes that we have in our classroom, the fine adjustment is a smaller knob that's usually placed either down low here or up on the top. Coarse adjustment is the knob that moves this part which is called the stage up and down so it brings the slide up to the lenses or pulls the slide away from the lenses okay so I'm going to demonstrate the course adjustment let me see okay so I've got this laying on its side but here you can see the stage is coming down Yeah. This is called the course adjustment because it changes the course of this part, the stage. Once you have set your slide on there and you've got it to the lens that you want to examine your specimen through, uh, you will then use the, the uh, fine adjustment. And that kind of, as the term implies, fine tunes the image. So this one, you just kind of rotate it back and forth until your um, object is crystal clear. Okay, then we go down to this little black table. This little black table is called the stage. And the stage is just a little table with a little hole in the center. It's got a little lens in there. And the slide is placed on here. And it is clipped right under these. These are called stage clips. They've got little springs on them. So I'm going to try and put the slide in there. Usually when you're doing this, you want to make sure that you're your lenses are on the scanning mode which gives you enough space between the stage and the lens you don't want to crack it then you get your slide and you're going to slide it right between those clips i might i don't think it might hold okay it did good great okay so there you clip the slide on the stage and then you would turn on the lamp. Now, of course, my uh, microscope is not plugged in at this time. So I'm trying to do this in a different location. But they turn on the power switch. And then this la lamp would project light through that opening in the center of the stage. Okay. Um, the lenses that are used for magnifying the object are called objectives. So you have scanning objective. And this is at four times power. Then you have the low objective, which is 10 times power. And then you have a high objective, which is going to be 
at four t 40 times power. So how do you figure out how big the object is when you're looking at it? Okay, so automatically your eyepiece is going to increase the size of the image by 10 times. Okay, so you take 10 times whatever the objective is and on this one it is 4 so that would already increase the size of the specimen by 40 times if you got it on the uh, low power you go from 10 times 10 and that would increase the size of your specimen by 100 times now if you set it at 40 40 then it would increase the size of your uh, magnification of that particular specimen by 400 times because 10 times 40 is equal 400 times and that's probably the the setting you will use to get better detail for the uh, cell all right um, again here's the lamp that's your light source and this right here is the base whenever you carry a microscope proper carrying techniques involve one hand on the arm and one hand below the base and that would keep the um, the uh, microscope from accidentally slipping or sliding out of your hands as you are transporting it okay so again to review we have eyepiece body tube rotating nose piece objective lenses arm fine adjustment coarse adjustment stage stage clips lamp or light source, base, and then of course you have your power source. And that class is the basic compound microscope.